What's going on YouTube, Melitosh here and I'm back with week 2 of the GPC and we're going to go for a week 2 battle against Hellas Volcarona SC. If you want to team, see the team that we are using then um, go to the, the team builder, link will be in the description down below. Um, I'm about to challenge him right this second. Um, oh, hello, okay, so show all teams. Uh, <coughs> so we've got our team here. <coughs> in case you did miss it, we've got Greninja, Ladio, Sylveon, <coughs> Dusclops, oh, off the top of my head, Entei, Extra Drill, and Ladios. Okay, um, as my opponent brings the exact six I predicted him to bring, if you did not um, see the... Um, I'm just going to say have fun, man. I'm going to say, yeah, just have fun. Um, I'm going to ignore spectators. <clears throat> um, I'm going to ask him if he can. Can you link the, the guys in the chat? Sky is being weird for me. Okay. <clears throat> so, he brought the exact... No, he did not bring the exact tick I expected him to bring. He does not bring uh, the Cabalion. Which is kind of cool. Because that means that... Um, um, that means that... Um, my extra drills Cobalt Berry can only be used for the Star Raptor. Okay. He does bring the Kecleon, which is cool. It's good to see. Um, I think I can deal with it reasonably well. It is very special defensive. I actually expect it to be um, special defensive with Assault Vest to take on a Greninja. Um, but I've got things that can hit it. Entei, Extra Drill. Um, even my Ladios can do some decent damage to it. Um, so, 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 so. I'm going to put my phone on the floor so it does not distract me. Um, my opponent's potential leads are... Um, oh, wow. I put my music really loud. Oh, my God, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really, really nervous. I really want to win this. My opponent's potential leads, I think, are Rotom, Gligar, and Star Raptor. He may just want to get rocks up against me straight away. Um, I once again do not have the Rapid Spin, even though I have two potential pawns that have could have Rapid Spin or Defog on my side. Which is kind of why I'm hoping it, he will not bring the uh, Rapid Spin this match. Uh, the, the, well, won't go for it straight away. Um, I actually expect Kecleon potentially to be a Stealth Rocker, but it could be Gligar as well. Um, I really want to leave with Speckles. Um... I think that Star Raptor's bat, uh, scarfed so much. I could. I think I'm going to be safe. I'm just going to leave with Kermit. I can out, I outspeed absolutely everything on his team, and I can just go for a U-turn uh, on either the Star Raptor or the Rotom H, or I can go for the Ice Beam if he does leave with the Star Raptor. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Kermit here. As he leaves with the Star Raptor, missed leg day. That tells me that this thing is scarfed, man. Okay, I'm just going to click Ice Beam. I'm just going to click Ice Beam. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. And they take out the Star Raptor! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, that is so good! Oh my god, that is so good! Okay, so I go for the Ice Beam with my Scarf Greninja and I take out the Star Raptor. Oh my god, that's huge. And you see the balloon on the uh, Rotom. Holy crap, man. That is humongous. I need to do something quickly as well. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my god, that is incredible. That is exactly why I brought... <laughs> You're just going to see the highlighted thing for a second. I'm going to paste this team into the um, damage calculator. Um, okay, right. So, <laughs> I'm so glad that worked. So we got a turn one knockout against that Star Raptor, which was probably Scarfed. It could have been banded, but if it was banded, why would he stay in? So it should be Scarfed. Now, um, this thing with a balloon kind of tells me that it's probably offensive. Um, so I'm just going to have a little look-see um, really quickly. Um, there we go. Um, I'm back on. I'm back on the chat. I went on the wrong one because um, this one should be on Team Builder. Yes. Um, <clears throat> wow, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. Um, oh, okay. So I'm gonna look, look at look at Entei really quickly. Um, go to Simba. I'm going to Simba here against a Rotom. Rotom H. I really think this thing is offensive. We know it's not spec, so which is really great. So um, I think it's gonna be max max special attack. I'm not sure though. It could be anything. I really don't see anything that can do much to me. The worst thing he could do to me um, would be Trick. The worst thing he could do to me would be Trick. Um, I can go to Bella, but I want Bella for Starmie. I can go to Eon, but I want to save Eon um, for the Gliger. I can potentially set up on that Kecleon as well. I'm going into Simba here. Um, he can't really trick. If he tricks me with balloons, it's not the end of the world. He just goes for the Thunder Wave, as a matter of fact. So we do see this thing as a Thunder Wave, which actually leads me to believe that it's a little bit more defensive. Um, and I think he just switches it into his Gligar here. 
but I am 6-5 up so I don't need to meet that prediction and getting a burn on Gligar would be cool which I have a 50-50 chance of doing so I'm just going to go for the sake of fire as he goes for the Volt Switch okay from this damage I should be able to see um, roughly what kind of say he is it does 22-26% 20 if he is um, max special attack but not modest timid instead and that Volt Switch did 21% to me that Volt Switch did 21% to me so uh, if you have no investment it does 18 to 21 percent so you are defensive you are defensive as i get the burn on the sacred fire which is just bloody amazing um as that fake sacred fire does 23 percent okay that seems like a little bit too much to me the burn is amazing um okay so i'm gonna go to gligar uh you use standard which is basically max defense sacrifice do 21 to 23 percent so that is perfect for us um wow that's mental okay okay so i think he's just gonna go for rocks here right Um, he may just EQ. Um, Bullseye can be used for Arteria now. Well, not really because it's set up fodder. So, huh. He's not going to go for Toxic. So, I'm just going to go into Eon here. He should not go for Toxic here. If he does, it's a really good play. He just goes for the Stealth Rocks, which is absolutely fine by me. And I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I think I'm just going to set up a sub. Yeah, that's definitely a play. I'm just going to set up a sub against this thing. Um... As I go out into my Latios here, which is absolutely fantastic for me, it puts loads of pressure on my opponent's team. I can set up a sub and I can set up on this thing, which is absolutely perfect. Um, I think he's going to have like Stealth Rock, Toxic, um, Earthquake, maybe Defog, but I think what is more likely is Roost. Um, as he switches out straight into Kecleon, okay. So I'm going to have a little quick look at Kecleon. I'm just going to have a little quick look at Kecleon here. Um, I, I know you get Sucker Punch. Uh... Where, okay, which is what I think you're going to go for. Um, I think you're going to go for Sucker Punch. I do. I really, really do. So I'm going to go to Ladios here. Um, Ladios. I put three T's in because I'm nervous. Latios. Um, Eon here. Yeah, this is the right Eon, which I like to see. Against a Kecleon. Kecleon. Uh, if you're a Salt Vest. If you're invested in attack, a knockoff is going to do is definitely going to break my sub. Um, and a psychic should do a decent amount to you. So I think I just psychic here just to get some damage off and see what kind of Kecleon you are. So I'm going to go for the psychic. It does 34% as he goes for the Iron Tail, which breaks my sub. Okay. I see. So he's got Iron Tail for the Sylveon. That is great to know. That is fabulous to know. I'm so glad I know that um, because I would definitely consider switching um, <laughs> switching um, Sylveon into this thing. So the Iron Tail does break my sub. Um, so let's have a little look at this quick like. Uh, Iron Tail uh, should do 39 to 40% to be if you're max attack. If you're not max attack... If you're not max attack, it's still going to break my sub. But say you're not adamant, say you're like Jolly or something. I Iron Tail still going to break my sub. So I, I don't get any information from this Kecleon, except for the fact that it is Assault Vest. Um, that it is Assault Vest. Okay. Um, honestly, I'm just going to go into Bullseye on this thing. Um, I can use Bullseye to wall this thing almost completely right now, um, which is just awesome for me. I love that in every single way, shape, and form. Um, so I can use Bullseye to absolutely wall this thing. Getting a decent chunk off of this thing because I think it is uh, salt vest means it won't have um, reliable recovery, which is kind of pretty cool for me. Not gonna lie, it's pretty cool for me um, knowing that he doesn't have uh, reliable recovery. Um, I suppose he could be special defensive, but I just I don't feel like he would be. I feel like he's got to have something for that Greninja. Um, uh, as I do go into the, the the bullseye here, as he goes for probably another Iron Tail, he goes for a Sucker Punch, expecting me to attack, but that fails, which is awesome. Um, so we see Iron Tail and Sucker Punch. He can knock me off, but I don't. I honestly don't need um, Dust Clops too bad. If he wants to go into Rotom here, that is fine. Um, is he going to go into Rotom? Is he going to go into Rotom? That's my question. I think he's probably going to go into Rotom. Or maybe Arteria. I'm going to go for the Wisp. If he goes into Rotom, it's not the end of the world. He does go into the Rotom. I really wish I had Seismic Toss. It would have broke the balloon as well, which would have been great for me. 
Um, but I think he's just going to go for a T-Wave. I'm going to go for a Seismic Toxic to try and break this balloon. If he goes for a T-Wave, that's fine. Uh, it doesn't really bother me in the slightest. If he goes for an Overheat, I'm going to live that. Um, he goes for the Volt Switch, actually, which is a good play by him, but something is going to take a Seismic Toss from this Bullseye. If he goes to Arteria, I will go straight out into Extra Drill, um, because, yeah, Arteria is like a humongous problem. Like, humongous problem. Like, massive. Oh, we had a good turn one, but this game is far from over. This game is far from over. And, um... Alteria is just... One scary motherfucker. One scary motherfucker. He goes to the Alteria, so I just get my seismic toss off. <clears throat> That's fine. Um... Either Speckle... Yeah, Speckle's here. Uh, because he has to 100%, then go for the Earthquake. I do lose Speckles, uh, which gives me one less check to the Rotom. But I've got other ways of dealing with that, especially since it's defensive. Yeah, I'm just going to go out into Speckles here. If he goes for the D-Dance, then he goes for the D-Dance. Um, he can't go for two because I'll just Iron Head him. He does decide to Mega Revolve and he goes for the D-Dance. Okay, so he now has to take me out with Earthquake if he has it. Um, as I'm just going to click Iron Head, um, which will take him out because um, I am max attack. So it will 100% take him out if he goes for, gets greedy and goes for another D-Dance. And he may be thinking I'm Scarfed right now, in which case he's going to have to switch out. Um, in which case he is going to have to switch out if I'm Scarfed. Um, but the reason I'm making this play is because then I can just go into Greninja. I've got enough damage on this thing to go for an Ice Beam and take him out. Um, he can switch into the Rotom, but I'll pop his Balloon, which is fantastic. Um, although I guess I won't have an Earthquake immunity, so it's not the end of the world. Um, as he does switch out into the Gligar as I go for the Iron Head, um, which is pretty cool for me. I'm going to continue to bluff this Scarf, or I can just get my Rocks up. Um, Earthquake's not going to do much to me. He's just going to... Hmm. I've got the damage on Altaria I need. So, I'm just going to get my rocks up. I'm going to get my rocks up here. As he goes for the roost, rocks should be really, really clutch this match. I'm now going to go into Eon. Um, and I don't think there's really much this thing can do to me. Um, as he goes for the defog, which is fine because now rocks off on my side of the field as well. Although I do not have the bluff scarf that I did before. Um, I could just Psychic, actually. Um... I'm gonna sub. I'm gonna sub. There's no way... There's no, uh, there's no... There's not a massive re... Uh... Re I don't know what the word is. Uh, oh my god, I can't even think of English words now. <laughs> there's not a massive repercussion of me going for a substitute here. I outspeed. Um... Uh, and I can, I can just set up on this Gliger all day long. I can just set up on this Gliger all day long. Um... I completely understand why he swapped out um, his Omega Arteria because it's a massive win condition for him right now. If he sets up with this thing, he does, in fact, win. <laughs> um, he does, in fact, win 100%. Um, um, so I completely understand why he swapped out with it, but I can just come in with Greninja. As long as he does not get two Dragon Dances up, I can come in with Greninja and Revenge Kill it. Which is really, really nice for me. It is really, really nice for me. I go for the sub. What is he going to go for? He's going to go for his own Stealth Rocks. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, the Kecleon's on 66%. Um, and how much did my sidekick do? It did 30 to 38%. So plus one. Let's have a little look, shall we? It does 48 to 57%. Um, so... Maybe he just stays in here. Maybe he goes into the Kecleon. I think he goes into Kecleon. So I'm just going to click Roost. Um, as he does go into the Kecleon here, I just click Roost, which is really, really nice. Gets Eon back to a nice amount of health. I can now go for a Psychic as he goes for the Sucker Punch. If I had gone for Calm Mind, that would have been crazy. I'm going to go for the Psychic. It's, he's immune to it. That was a really, really good play. I did not think about that. I didn't think about that at all. I didn't think about that in the slightest. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not think about that in the slightest. Um... As he goes to the Iron Tail, that should do nothing to me, as it does do nothing to me. So I'm just going to go for a Seismic Toss here. Um, that was a really good play for my opponent, going for Sucker Punch on my Psychic, uh, meaning that Kekleon takes zero damage. Um, I really didn't think about that at all, because honestly I forgot about Protein. This is a really bad play for me, and I'm going to have to up my game a little bit. Um, but I'm kind of feeling good at the moment. I'm going to go for Seismic Toss, I'm going to get damage on anything that comes in. If he wants to go into Mega Altaria, I'm going to get even more damage off, and I will just make the same play of going into Extra Drill. I think... Well, Extra Drill can do really well against Kecleon um, and Rotom. So maybe I'll go into my Stomp and my Sylveon, but then I need that for Starmie. 
So I think I think extra jewels my play. I need the Sylveon for Starmie. I can take out everything else with different techniques. So honestly, that's fine. I would go out into my Simba, but it's paralyzed. And if he gets paralyzed and he gets two D, dan D dances up, he kind of wins. <laughs> so um, kind of a problem. The thing is, I don't think he's going to go into Mega Altaria because I can just Wisp, and then that just completely neutralizes it. He'd have to get like four Dragon Dancers off to take out my team then. Um, and really, if I went for that and he went into Mega Altaria, it'd kind of be game over. Um, so I am, he goes for the Sucker Punch, um, predicting me to go for the Seismic Toss. I do go for the Seismic Toss here, which is fine. Um, I can now just click. I'm kind of happy for this thing to go down and trade for Kecleon. Right? Um, if you go for Sucker Punch, the test takes me out. So I'm just going to go for a Pain Split. If you go for Sucker Punch, it spares. I go for a Pain Split, so I get a little bit more damage off on this thing. Um, <clears throat> um, he says he clicked Iron Tail, I don't know, it maybe Showdown lagged out or something, or maybe he cancelled it or something, I'm sorry about that dude, uh, that is Showdown for you, there's nothing really you can do about it, um, and the Sucker Punch, another Sucker Punch would take me out, um, as Iron Tail, I don't think he's going to take me out now, so I'm just going to click Will-O-Wisp, in case you go, he goes for the Iron Tail, that shouldn't take me out, I don't, I get a crit, which is fine, um, yeah, the Iron Tail would have done 20% normally, <clears throat> which is unfortunate, but I guess it is what it is. Um, do I just go into Greninja? And fire off a Hydro Pump? What does he really switch into that? Altarius is best switching. He can go for a Sucker Punch on me. Let's have a little look, see, shall we? We're going to go back to the calculator as we always do. Um, we're going to go to Kecleon here. Um, and we're going to go to Greninja, who is Kermit over here. Um, Hydro Pump does 28 to 34%. Um, if he's adamant, uh, Sucker Punch will do 30 to 35% me. Honestly, I don't see me leaving many other hits. <laughs> um, maybe from a Gligar. Let me just check. Um, let me just check real quick, like, um, how much a Gligar's uh, Earthquake will do to me. A Gligar's Earthquake will do 46 to 54%. So I can do both. Um, plus Gligar is burnt. So I'm just going to go into Kermit here. <clears throat> um... And I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. Um, I'm really sorry, by the way, dude. I don't really like replying to people when I'm in a competitive battle. I just want to think about my plays um, as much as I possibly can. Um, so I'm just going to click Hydro Pump here. It would suck if I missed, but uh, I think this is a really good play for me. I can still win without Kermit, although <clears throat> it makes my life a lot harder. Um, and I can take two Sucker Punches, so I'd have to miss like three, which would suck. It happens, but you know, I do think he's going to sack Kecleon here. Um, he may decide to go into his Altaria, but I think it's still going to do a decent amount. Maybe he's specially defensive on the Altaria. I don't really know much about the Altaria set at the moment. Um, Duskops is down, um, which kind of gives, doesn't really give me a switch into um, uh, Gligar, really. But I mean, I'm fine with that. It's burned. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm fine with that. I think Eon is kind of my switch in now um, to the Gligar. Um, or potentially extra drill if I want to get my rocks up and get my his rocks out of the way. Um... But I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump here. He does switch out into Gligar, sacking off the Gligar, actually. So Kermit gets his second kill of the match, which is really, really nice. Um, as we take out the Gligar, as we go 5-4 up, which is nice. He goes into Floss here. Um... Part of me wants to sack off Eon. Um, because he should just go for a DD here. Um, he should just go for a DD here. Um, or do I just go into Speckles? Then he Earthquakes, and I just go back out into Greninja. Um, although if you're specially defensive, which I kind of doubt, um, but if you are specially defensive Altaria, um... Like say you're supportive, but with D dance, that could that could be a thing. Supportive with D dance, um, Ice Beam is not going to take you out from this range. Ice Beam is not going to take you out from this range. Hey, um, if I lose Bella, then I have to kill Starmie with Dark Pulse from Greninja, or I can kill it with Eon. I think he's just going to Earthquake. No, he can get up a D-Dance then Earthquake, right? 
Yeah. I can go into Simba, but if he gets up 2D dances, man, that's, that's game over. Yeah, I'm going to Speckles here. He can Earthquake if he wants to, that's fine. I don't mind losing Speckles here. Go 4-4, four, four. I'm absolutely fine with that. He goes for the Earthquake. It doesn't actually quite take me out, so I outspeed this thing right now. I outspeed this thing right now. Huh. Um... That's cool. Okay, I'm going to find out what kind of Altaria set this is. That's useful stuff. That's useful stuff, man. That is definitely useful stuff. I'm going for Speckles here. An Earthquake of a Special Defense Wonder, 64 to 76%. Oh, you cheeky devil you, you're specially defensive. Oh, you cheeky devil you. Oh, you cheeky... Oh, you're defensive. You're defensive. Okay. Um, rocks or Earthquake? Rocks or Earthquake? Earthquake or Rocks? So, well, if he goes into Keglorn here, um, either way, that's fine, which I kind of think is his play. If he goes into Starmie, Earthquake is going to do a lot of damage. Then I can go into Greninja, or I can go into Eon, or I can go into Sylveon uh, to replace it. If he goes into Rotom Heat here and I get my Rocks up, uh, I'm going to outspeed him, I'm going to go for an Earthquake afterwards. Um, Kecleon Sucker Punch would probably take me out. Kecleon Sucker Punch would probably take me out, right? Kecleon Sucker Punch would probably take me out. Kecleon Sucker Punch would definitely take me out. Um, 100% Kecleon Sucker Punch would take me out. So! Uh, and then I lose Speckles, which is fine. He Either he has Double Rapid Spinner or he keeps his rocks on. So he Rotom takes 25% each time he comes in. Mega Alteria slowly gets worn down, meaning Ice Beam from Greninja will definitely be able to take him out. But I think I just want to go for damage. I think I'm just going to go for damage. I'm going to go for the Earthquake, because he does switch out into the Starmie. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake here. It does a whole lot of damage, honestly. And honestly, because I have such good switching in my Bella, um, I'm just going to make that switch. Because I have such a good switching in my Bella, I'm going to save Extra Drill. As he goes for the Hydro Pump, that's 55% to me as we do see the Life Orb. Okay. Um, okay. That's definitely okay. Um, because if he wants to recover, I'm just going to Hyper Voice here. In case he clicks Recover, I'm going to do a lot of damage to this thing. If he wants to take me out of the Hydro Pump, I can come with a Greninja. And I can actually click Ice Beam um, to take him out. Um, then he goes into Rotom, and I can go back into Eon, um, and I kind of get the upper hand. Um, I was planning on this match being very punch for punch from the beginning, um, so that is kind of what's happening, which is great for me. Um, uh, he, his best play here is to go for Hydro Pump, but he could go for Recover. He does go for Recover. Hopefully this takes him out, because he seems offensive. But, oh, it doesn't quite take him out. Um, how much did Hydro Pump do to me? It did 55%. Um, and I would get, I think I get 6% on my left over. Um, so I'm just, I'm going to protect here, he should just Hydro Pump, um, and then he will go down if he, oh no, if he Hydro Pumps, he goes down. If he Hydro Pumps, he goes down to Life or Repo, um, but Hyper Voice does 58%, um, my best player here is actually Wish. Yeah, my best play here is Wish, because if he goes with the Hydro Pump, he takes me out, then he goes down to do full damage, he goes to recover, I get a Wish up, and then I can go for a Protect or a Hyper Voice next turn, it's kind of mind games. Um, actually, no. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Hyper Voice. No, yeah, 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 definitely Hyper Voice in my play, I just want to take this thing out. I just want to kill the Skarmy, um, because I just, I, yeah, that was me trying to think about Differential, but I'm far from winning this match. I am very far from winning this match. It's kind of pretty much for all, because the Extra Draw is so low. Um, even though I do outspeed the uh, Rotom set. Extra can put him work against the Rotom. If he goes for another recover here, um, then I'm going to take him out. Uh, he can go for maybe a Psy Shock. He goes for a Psy Shock. I do live that because I am uh, bulky. So Wish was my play, but I am just going to go for a Hyper Voice here. Um, as he can go into Kecleon or Rotom or anything really. He goes into Alteria, as a matter of fact. So I'm just going to kick Hyper Voice in case he goes for DD. He just goes for Earthquake to take me out. And... I'm going to go into Speckles here, as I do outspeed, um, Speckles now outspeeds everything on his team, 
Um, and this time, I don't see him clicking into Ro going into Rotom because I went went for the earthquake last time. I'm just going to click Iron Head. He may want to stay in. The reason <clears throat> um, I don't want to, I don't, no, there's no reason not to click Earthquake because if he goes for a D Dance, if he goes for a D Dance and I click Earthquake, um, he then has to take me out the turn after. Um, and, and and then I can just come in with Greninja because I, I will have the damage I needed off on this thing. So I think I'm just going to click Earthquake. I'm just going to click Earthquake. Um, my best play. Something is going to die here whether it's to um, Speckles' Earthquake or to him taking me out with... Um, him taking me out with Floss, then me coming with Greninja. I go for the Earthquake, I outspeed. He just stays in and goes for the Earthquake. So now I come in with Kermit here. Um, and I just click Hydro Pump. And I think I win. If I hit three Hydro Pumps, I win. <coughs> yeah, I go for Hydro Pump. If I hit three Hydro Pumps, I win. Let me get wet. Oh, let me cancel. Let me cancel that. Let me cancel that and just double check. Um, let me just double check the calc. Um, in case something crazy goes on, I don't want... I just... <laughs> I really don't want to lose because... Um, uh, because supportive um, Hydro Pump is not going to take it um, it actually might not take him out from this range and he goes into Rotom and Volt Switches I can just go into Eon so I'm just going to Ice Beam I go for the Ice Beam and I take out the Altaria Hydro Pump would have been a bad player though I think I probably would have taken him out um, but that's cool so Greninja gets 3 kills in this match which is really really nice um, as I go for the Ice Beam and take out the Altaria. So now he can go into Rotom. He can go into Rotom. Um, and I think I'll just go into... Um, I think I will just go into my Eon here. No, I'm just going to Simba. Let me just see something. Um, Kecleon, I think he's still got a chance to win, unfortunately. <laughs> well, unfortunately for me, anyway. I think he's still got a chance to win. Um, let's see how much to my Entei this Sucker Punch is going to do. Well, he can outspeed me. Um, so I think I should be able to live one. If he goes to Rock Slide, he's going to take me out, but then I can just go into um, Eon or Greninja. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I go into Simba here. Um, um, if he goes to Volt Switch, that's fine. He does go for Volt Switch. He gets a crit. So um, Simba is going to go down to the Kecleon Sucker Punch here. Which I'm fine with, honestly. I am fine with that because then I can go into Greninja um, and click Hydro Pump. I guess I have to hit that Hydro Pump. Yeah, I have to hit the Hydro Pump. Man, that sucks. I'm just going to go for Sacred Fire. He goes for Sucker Punch. That is 100% going to take me out here. Actually, my safest play. Um, Sucker Punch from this Kecleon. Um, against my Greninja. Not Greninja, sorry. Uh, Latios. Um, Eon the Mega Latios. Sucker Punch is 64 to 76%. So I actually think that's my play. Right? Yeah, and I just click Psychic. I don't think it matters. I think I've won. Because if I go into Greninja and he should, I just go for a Hydro Pump, even if I miss, he goes for Sucker Punch. <clears throat> I can take another one and go for a Hydro Pump. Um, then I take out the Rotom with Hydro Pump. If I don't, I come in with Psychic. I outspeed the Rotom with my Ladio so I can just roost up on it, sub up on it, calm mind up on it, and take him out. Okay. So I just go into Kermit here. Um, and. I just click Hydro Pump. I just click Hydro Pump. That's my play. If I miss, I miss. I don't miss, which is awesome. <clears throat> I take out the Kecleon with my Greninja. And now I should be able to do a decent amount. I think this thing is probably special defensive. Um, I think this thing is probably special defensive. So I can just go for the Hydro Pump. I miss this one. Um, as he said, this is a game of no miss. He goes for the Volt Switch. He takes me out, which is absolutely fine. I come in with Eon here. And we're going to get a close 1-0 victory against the... Um... Against the 
Headless Valkyrie. Oh, well, I, I don't know. If I play this badly, I'm going to go for a Psychic here. Um, it does 54%, which is perfect. He shouldn't be able to do it, Kiyomi. He goes for a Thunder Wave. He should not be able to one it, Kiyomi. He's going to have to get a lot. He goes for a Pain Split. Okay, this just changed. I'll go for another Psychic. Um, I'm going to Roost. He goes for Pain Split. I get my Roost off. Um, now I'm just going to go for a Calm Mind here. He goes for Pain Split once again. I go for Calm Mind. I'm going to click Calm Mind again. He goes for Volt Switch. That does nothing to me. I get fully paralyzed. Uh, I'm actually just going to go for Calm Mind again. He goes for Volt Switch again. Um, I, go, I get paralyzed again, which really, really sucks. Uh, at this point, I'm going to Roost in case he has a Shadow Ball. Just in case he has a Shadow Ball. He goes for the Volt Switch here. I get my Roost off. Um, and I'm going to go for a Calm Mind. He goes for a Pain Split. That's fine. I'm going to go for a Calm Mind again. <laughs> um, I just need to run a count really quick with my Ladios against a Rotom. Um, a Rotom Heat. If you are you defensive... So like it does 53 to 63%, which it did, I think. Uh, Psychic so did 54%. So that's perfect. Um, now I need to go back to the calc. Hala, hala. And go to plus two. I should take him out now. I guess just in case he's something funky, I'm gonna go for a calm mind again. I really I just don't want to risk it, guys. I'm sorry if I'm being a bit of a douche, but I don't want to risk it. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for another calm mind here. Um, and then, just in case he's, he is specially defensive and I'm missing something in the calc. Um, um, specially defensive and calm. Uh, at plus three. I, oh, no, I, I need to get to plus four. Okay, I need to get to plus four. I'm really sorry, guys. This ending is going to suck for you guys, but I really just need to... Um, I really just need to uh, take this thing out. I'm now going to go for the Psychic. This should 100% take him out. <coughs> go for the Psychic. It does take out the Rotom with a crit after all that. GG. Um... <laughs> he says crit mattered. I don't, I don't think it did, but I'm pretty sure he was joking. And that was a really, really good match. Another really close match in the GPC, which is awesome for us as we do go 1-1, one and one, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm really glad this team worked. That turn 1 was clutch. If that turn 1 hadn't happened, this match could have been completely different. Um, <clears throat> the miss on the Rotom mattered with my... Um, Greninja, but we still won anyway, so that's absolutely fine. If you guys enjoyed today's video and you're glad that we have gone one and one, then please leave a like rain down below. If you feel like an absolute legend, then go ahead and give it a share because sharing is caring. But other than that, I'll smell you later.